Hey there fellow adult collectors, welcome back. David Eon here with another virtual video showcase. Today taking a look at the Playmobil Night Deluxe set. And this is a piece that I have in the museum. It's just sitting on a shelf, but someone noticed it in one of our videos as we pan around the room. Actually, a couple of people had noticed it and were curious about it. They're into Playmobil and they wanted to know about the set. Curious about whether or not I collect Playmobil. And typically I do not, but I do have this set because this set means something to me. And this was made in 1976. The 1976 Playmobil Night Deluxe set. And it says here, before I open the box, because this is complete in the box, unplayed with, but the pieces are loose, so we can take a look at it. A Playmobil isn't just another toy to a child. It's a never-ending world of creative play, allowing the child to transfer his idea of the adult world to the playroom. Because Playmobil people are a lot like real people, they can turn their heads, move their arms and legs, and ride horses. In fact, they're capable of doing almost anything your child dreams up. Little people for little people. Well, Yes and no, because honestly, they only have four points of articulation. They're not very well jointed, but they are sturdy. They are sturdy toys. They were imaginative toys. And again, this set meant something to me particularly because I had this set as a child. And I probably got it in 1976 because I was very young when I received it. And this is what it looks like when you open it up. It just flaps up, and then right here on the back flap, you get a layout of everything that is in this set, along with a picture on the one side. Just close up on that here for you so you can see all those pieces. And Playmobil always had a ton of accessories with their sets, as you can see. And the the capes and shields and everything look red, but they're actually orange. It's just a darker image. And then over here they have a suggestion of how this might look when you put it all together. But I was probably about six when I got this set. Not this exact set, but a similar set. I had the Playmobil Knights Deluxe set. I remember it really well. And I came across this years later. And we'll take a look in here. And you, as I had pointed out, this is a set that has been opened, I guess. But it's not played with. And the way I know for sure that it's not played with is because the knights all still have their chrome intact. That chrome paint, if you find these loose, they're not going to have any chrome paint. <laughs> it's going to be rubbed all off the weapons and accessories too, which you see all here in the Ziploc bag, all still have their chrome bits and pieces. But I was given this on Christmas. I recall that it was Christmas. I don't know who gave it to me. I don't know if it was from my mother or I, I could only hazard to guess because I only received Christmas gifts as a very young child and I'm pretty sure I stopped getting anything around the age of eight but that early childhood experience of Christmas including this set the Weebles camper set there's a handful of things that I received that just stand out in my memory really well and this is one of them so we're gonna go ahead and take these out and take a closer look at them so we're going to transition to that now and we are back with all of our pieces laid out laid out for your viewing pleasure and as I pointed out it's quite an expansive little set although there are some oddities here I mean it's set up 
a certain way. You see there's only two shields, there's only three half capes, two full ones, one flag, and that is correct to what's on the actual card here. Pulling that up again, or I guess I'll stand it up here so that you can see that and I'll try to keep the glare off. There's only four cups, four plates, two horns, four swords, two shields, so this is accurate. So some of these guys get to be armed and some don't. Some get to sit at the table and eat and some don't. And that's how it is. All of these pieces are plastic. It looks like wood. And actually, it even kind of feels like it could have been wood, you know, if it was like carved and smoothed and shellacked, but it is not. It is plastic. The horse only has one point of articulation at the neck. And as I pointed out, I'll just take one of these figures up. He only has four points of articulation. You can turn his head from side to side and it does lock arms raise up and down and he can get into a seated position and that's about it and this is a three inch figure it's about three inches tall helmet comes off try to be careful here because I don't want to hurt it that helmet's probably never been removed from this figure <laughs> he doesn't want to give it up there it is you see how it just kinda snaps on and he's got a little cutout back there and you can pull these apart. This figure can be torn completely apart because I did it a million times as a kid. The arms can pop out, the legs can pop out, the head can be removed, the hair can be pulled off, and you can swap parts around if you want to. Obviously, I'm not going to do that with this guy or any of these. And again, uh, chrome paint. And rare to find them with that paint intact. It comes off and there's all kind of colors underneath. Um, when mine came off, I think one was blue, one was yellow. When they wore away, a couple of them were white or cream colored underneath. And you can imagine them to be whoever you want. You know, this is, they put the crown on this one, but you could put the crown on whoever. He comes with two scepters. I'm not sure why he gets two, but he has two scepters. Maybe in case you lose one, or maybe he just really wants to lord over everybody and show what a king he is by having two. I am double king. And again, yes, he is supposed to have two scepters. There they are. And this is just a fun set. This is a great set for a little kid. They made a lot of sets like this. And of course it comes with the catalog and I remember this catalog and I'll show it to you here because it's still here, the Playmobil system of toys. And you see these little kids playing with all the Playmobil they could ever want. There's the Knights, some of the Knights systems, the Knight series, which of course this is the one you're looking at. Knights Deluxe, and they had Cowboys, and again this is 1976, if you have Cowboys of course you've got to have Indians, and construction workers, why not? Playmobil is still around, and here's some accessory sets, you know, if you need some more TPs, if you need some horses, there's a knight accessory set there, a truck for the construction workers, that's just really cool. And I never got any more sets than this, just the knight set is all I had. Construction pipes and cables, <laughs> that's cool. and a mail-in coupon. Mail this coupon and they will send you for 50 cents 
It says, uh, enclosed is 50 cents to cover each item checked below, not more than one each. Allow three to six weeks for delivery, and you can get an Indian, a cowboy, a knight, or a construction worker, or all four, if you mailed in $2. That's awesome. These four figures you could mail away for, just to add to your collection. Oh, my cup fell over. See, little goblets and little plates. Four of them get to eat and two of them get to stand around, I guess. And the throne for your king. Just like that. And it's not a valuable set. Vintage Playmobil sets don't sell for a lot, believe it or not. If you look up any of the systems that you saw in this catalog, you could probably pick up a complete in the box set in really decent condition for a lot less than you would think. This set right here is probably not worth more than 50 to $75. That's how it is. There's not much interest in the vintage Playmobil, and I think it's uh, unfortunate because they're really cool, nostalgic sets. There's a trumpet. And these half these capes, this is the half cape. It just kind of snaps onto the back of their neck like that. That's how they wear them. And of course, the king's cape is ridiculous. And it's a little darker. It is a little darker than the orange ones. So he gets to drag a train, but he can't sit with his cape on because it's not mixed media. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, there's not much interest in vintage, uh, vintage Playmobil, believe it or not. So if you're interested in this kind of stuff, you can pick a lot of it up fairly cheap. Modern Playmobil costs more than the vintage stuff does. And that's also partly due to the fact that Playmobil has figured out, like many modern toy companies, that children aren't playing with toys anymore. And they've taken, like other toy companies, to targeting the adult collector's market. And they're making, like, the A-Team, and they're making, like, 007 James Bond Playmobil and stuff like that Scooby-Doo instead of just imaginative stuff like this because modern children are more interested in electronic stuff than they are in things that might spark imagination which is a shame because you're not using your imagination playing a video game but with something like this you you are and it's unfortunate because that uh, you know it's great that we have the modern technology but with everything new that's introduced something else is taken away and imagination is one of those things anyway like I said, there was a couple of people that had asked about this, so I thought I would go ahead and showcase it. I hope you got something out of that. You found that interesting. This, if you haven't wondered about it, it just kind of snaps on like that. And the horse stays on, because it snaps on there really good. And the saddle does come off, because you see there's a split right there, so you can open that and pull the saddle off. But the, the horse doesn't look right without it. See, because he's got that cut out on the bottom, and he's like super thin. It's like starving the death horse. <laughs> so it looks proper. It looks better with the saddle in place. But yeah, any thoughts? What do you think of this set? What do you think of the Playmobil in general? Did you have any of these growing up? Are you a fan of Playmobil? Is this something that you would think about collecting? Again, like I said, it's the vintage sets 
not are not that expensive, surprisingly. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. I hope that you did. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you knew all that good stuff. Check out some of the other videos if you have not. And if that's it, then what more can I say? But thanks for watching. And we will see you again soon.